Aloha. My name is Mei Fang Chen. And my name is Man Kit Yu. So today we are going to talk about a forecast staying with Excel. So this article is from Journal of Accountants, written by James A. Whistle in February 2009. So th this article mainly introduced the regression analyzed function in Excel to help management to find out the relationship between advertising expense and sales and, and help them to um, predict revenues and costs. So um, today we are going to demonstrate how to use this Excel function to forecast. Okay, now we have the data from our clients. So we have these two variables. The first one is the advertising expense and the second one is the sales revenue. Before we forecast the sales revenue, we have to prove that these two variables has the strong relationship to each other. So now we have these two data. We use them to create a chart. But before we create the chart, we would like to remind you that if you want to forecast the sales revenue, the target data, you have to put them into the second column because Excel will automatically put the first column data into the x-axis which is the independent variables and the second one the y-axis will be the second column so don't forget to to put them in the right order so now you highlight the cell B1 to C21 and then you go to insert go to bar chart and go to the bottom all chart types so because we want to know the relationship about the two um, data so we choose the XY scatter and click OK so now you generate the the scatter chart about these two variables so in this chart you can change the name of the title and here you will see the weekly sales revenue so that if you change the weekly advertising expense and the weekly sales revenue will change along with the number of the advertising expense so uh, in this chart you will see the, 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 the relationship between these two variables so um, in order to prove that they have a strong relationship we should um, use the linear regression which is the R square we go to the layout and in here you see the trend line and you see more trend line options here and leave the linear here and on the bottom click the display equation on chart and also display the R square value on chart and close it so now you see the formula generated here so the meaning of the R square is how the data close to this line if the data all really close to the line and the number the closer to the to the number one the more strongly relationship that the two variable they have so now you will see the R square is the 69.9 percent which is a really um, good um, a good numbers that this data is very uh, reliable so now we prove to the client that these two variable have a very strong relationship to each other all right so um, now we can start forecast. Uh, first of all, we want to um, find out the revenue from advertising. So we put our cell here, and then we put n uh, equal forecast, and then we um, put. We press Control A. Right. So we have this window came out. And then X means um, we want to uh, forecast from advertising expense. So we hit this cell on E2 and Y. We can highlight from C2 to C21 and then X we can 
highlight B2 to B21 and hit OK. So even we don't do anything, we, we don't have advertised expense, we still have some revenue, but if the company, they um, put some budget on the advertising, advertising expense, then the revenue, they would generate more revenue. So we can um, do an experiment. We put a 400 in advertising expense, then we, have, we can generate this much revenue. And because um, we also have this chart came out and help us to count, um, come out this formula, y equals 35.2x plus 21,792. So we can also use this formula to prove if the forecasting here is correct. So we can put in on H, we can also use equal um, 35.2 times this cell advertising expense. So this X is uh, independent variable. And then we can plus 20. 1,792, put enter, so it came out about the same, it's only one difference, okay, so, all right, so this is our article um, forecasting with Excel, thank you.